Hey guys, welcome back to Cossack Customs. This one's going to be real short. I just want to show you guys how to convert a 12 volt power wheel into 24 volts to double the speed. All right, guys, this is the culprit. It's my son's 12 volt Jeep power wheel. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's got the lights in the back and stuff like that, but it's time to rewire it. All right, so most power wheels, everything's in the hood. That's basically where all the batteries are gonna be. Sometimes they're under the seat. So it just depends on which power wheel you guys have, okay? So I wanna show you guys how to do this real quick. There's a lot of videos out there, but for Cossack Customs, we got ways of doing things here. Let's pop this hood. We look inside. It's kind of already been adjusted, obviously, from me. Now, these wires right here, don't worry about these. These were actually uh, for the headlights and stuff like that because I wired in little tiny bulbs on both sides for headlights and parking lights. That was just extra. That is not required. This, on the other hand, is required. So, if you guys notice, there's a couple different ways to do this. The safest and the only way not to blow up your power wheel or catch fire. See this plug? You can buy them off eBay. Uh, I, this one I made myself. So on the original power wheel battery, the original one, take a screwdriver, pop the top off of it. I'll show you guys real quick what this kind of looks like. It is really hot today. Okay, you guys see this right here? It's a power wheel battery, right? That is us. If you take a screwdriver, you pop this to pop off right here. You're gonna see that plug run wires to connectors just like if it was a regular scooter looking battery. So pop this off and pop this out. It'll pop up and then take the wires and cut them at the connections. Now if you do that, it'll look like this. It's the female end of the battery. Actually, technically it's a male, but then it has the wires off of it. I put a ground here, and then on this side, what you guys need to do, run the wire. Don't worry about all these weird looking connections. I, I've spliced these things a couple different times. Run a wire all the way to a fuse protector. You have to have one of these, otherwise you could possibly catch fire if it catches too much power. Put a 30 amp fuse in here, and a connector for a regular scooter battery that you would use on one of my other builds, uh, either the Bella scooter that I made, or um, even on any electrical dirt bike. Those are the connectors that you need. So basically it comes, don't worry about these splicing, that was for the headlights. Right here, this is what you're gonna need. If you have a regular power wheel and you wanna convert it, cool thing is, is you can always go back to 12 volts whenever you feel like it. I'll show you how to do that too. So this is what it's gonna look like it's attached to the Jeep, okay? Then you're gonna need a connector. Just two wires, no big deal. Shrink wrap this one, connector here, and. Connector here, really simple. Now I'll show you why. Now, we're gonna grab our batteries, okay? These are normal batteries that you would probably use on one of the scooters. Like, I have four of them on that scooter that I built. So now, this one right here is one of those batteries. Just drop it in, like this. If you guys notice, there's no plastic piece. Take that little plastic piece out of there. It's like a silver clearish plastic piece. Take it out, you don't need it. Then, what you can do if just to start is you can literally plug this in like this, one-handed, because that's how talented I am. Take the battery, plug in the connectors. Today would be cool. There we go, one, and here's the ground. You guys notice this is very, very simple, okay? Very simple. There you go, look at that. That is a 12 volt system, that's it. 12 volt system, one battery, 12 volts, what lasts way longer than the original. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this up. I'm gonna make sure this is on regular mode like this. And I will show you. Oh, here we go. Let's just do it this way. There, that did nothing. There we go, now that did something. So, we're gonna hit the gas and we'll watch the wheels turn. Then you go to fast mode, which is five miles an hour at 12 volts. And there you go. There's your 12 volt system. Now, 
that's not good enough. Cosac Customs wants faster. So you will disconnect the positive route here. You will grab your additional 12 volt battery and slip it right in. Make sure these are like this. This is the easiest way to do this. Then you're gonna take this 12 volt connector right here and you're gonna place it right onto this one. Now there's a reason why we're doing this. Right now it has no, it wouldn't even work because I got two batteries that aren't connected. So what do we need? Oh, that's right. We need wire connectors. So make sure no one's touching the gas. Otherwise it's gonna go click and spark. Otherwise this should work. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug it in like this. Click. So batteries is in order. You are getting 24 volts instead of 12. So two 12 volt batteries, 12 plus 12 is 24. There's your math. Grounded here, positive here with your fuse protector. And then these two batteries connected to each other. Now, if you close the hood, let's lock it up and you go over here and let's go to slow mode, which I call my, I told my son slow mode and fast mode, slow mode. And you look at the tire, that's the five mile an hour one. You hit the gas at 24 and you go to fast mode. Yeah, that just doubled the power. Now the motors in the back are not really designed for that, but they can hold it. So my son will take it out for a ride and he will show you the difference between regular 12 volt system and a 24 volt system. All right, we're gonna start with the 12 volt system. Go ahead. No, slow mode. So this would be 100% on a 12 volt system. Now turn around and come back. That's it, that's that's 12 volts, that's like stock, I guess you could say. Now turn this way, turn over here, stop. Now sticking on fast mode, and we're gonna show these people, our subscribers, how cool 24 volts is. Put it on fast mode, hit the gas and go. That's, that's, that's reverse. Yeah, there you go. So I spoil my kids. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can do drifts and stuff, because it goes pretty quick. If I was going to calculate probably how fast it's going, it's probably eight to nine miles an hour. Oh, great. Stunt man. So anyway, guys, this is really simple to get your thing to 24 volts. It lasts a little bit longer than a normal power wheel battery, but you're going to need traditional 12 volt battery chargers to charge it up because you have to remove the batteries. There's no plug. Anyway, guys, for Cossack Customs, I just wanted to show you the Jeep and what you can do with a power wheel on going fast mode as we call it in a 24 volt system. Till next time guys, I got a new one coming up.